hi there welcome back to this tutorial on circle theorems in this video we'll be looking at theorems on angles in a semicircle so the statement of the theorem angle in a semicircle is a right angle so we consider the circle here center o this is diameter so if you label this p q r which means O is the center of the circle PQR, PR is the diameter, and the angle PQR is 90 degrees. That is angle at Q is 90 degrees. This is the diagrammatical explanation of the theorem. So we go ahead to solve some problems on this. Problem 1. Find the value of M in the diagram below. So we have a M here. This is the center of the circle. This line here is the diameter. Therefore, this angle here, we name it N. So we say N is equal to 90 degrees. That's angles in a semicircle. Since this is 90 degrees, which means 56 degrees and M are complementary angles. They sum up to give 90 degrees. Therefore, M equal to 90 minus 56 degrees. That is sum of angles of a triangle. And that gives 34 degrees. And that's all for solution of problem one. So we go to problem two. For problem two, find the values of p q and r in the diagram below um for the purpose of this uh, lesson and for clearer explanation we wish to label the points on this circle as a b c and d so that we can now identify a c as diameter since AC is diameter of the circle, it means angle ABC is 90 degrees. But before then, um, we need to find this angle to enable us find the value of R. If you look at this, that is angle ABD. We need to find angle ABD. So angle ABD is formed by these two lines and they both originated from A and D. And uh, yes, another lines from A and D forming angle 43 degrees, which means this angle is equal to 43 degrees. Angles in the same segment. That is from the previous uh, theorem on circle geometry so from here now we can now bring this angle plus r to be 90 degrees since we have already established the angle at b the angle so from here we can find the value of r since we have already established that angle abc is 90 degrees so we say r is 90 minus 43 degrees that is angles in a semicircle that will now give us a uh, 47 degrees so that's the solution of uh, r we now look at uh, p and q if we get p we'll get q because the lines that formed angle p and q both originate from b and c so therefore we need to find p then we get a q because they are in the same sector so we cannot get p but if you look at this triangle doc um this is an exterior angle this is the opposite interior angle so this will be equal to this so we can say q now is equal to 78 degrees so we say q is equal to 78 degrees 
minus 43 degrees that is exterior angle of a triangle is equal to opposite interior angles this is exterior equal to opposite interior that gives 35 degrees and uh, from here we can find the value of p so p is equal to 35 degrees angles in the same segment we have already established that p and q are in the same segment so that's the end of solution to problem two so we go to problem three for problem three in the diagram p q and s are points on the circle center o p q s are point on circle center o angle p q s p q s this angle is 59 degrees and angle p r s p r s this angle is 138 degrees so calculate a r p s r p s this is the angle here and b q p r q p r so the marked angle here then before we go we can see that q s is the diameter therefore angle q p s is 90 degrees angle q p x is 90 degrees that's angle in the semicircle since we have established that angle p s q p s q this angle here is equal to 90 minus 59 degrees that's angles of a triangle since this is already 90 so we have it as 31 degrees so from here we can go to problem a to calculate rps that is from this triangle rps will be 180 degrees minus 108 degrees minus 31 degrees that is sum of angles of a triangle so from our calculator we have it as 11 degrees then from here we have already established that QPS is 90 degrees therefore to calculate angle QPR that is from this triangle here this angle here plus this gives 90 degrees so we say 90 minus 11 angles in a semicircle which gives 79 degrees and uh, that is the end of solution to problem 3 and this is the highest we can take for this theorem please check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the previous problems on circle theorems and other problems until we come your way again goodbye